we just cut our first part and it was nice. I don't have any water in there right now, so it's kind of crazy. Stay tuned. All right, you two, let's see how we did here. Clean cut to me. Nice. Stand by. Alright, there it is. Out of the light. Looks pretty good to me. in here but not much Going right ahead bling bling hey YouTube we're back at the work stand now and we got to put this all together I got our little pieces here cleaned up ready to go got two of those so I'll need two of those those comes as a set on the website you're going to need your motor mount. You're going to need your axles. So here's two axles. If you want a positive differential, you have to buy two axles. And you also want to think about setting up brakes on both sides. Once you get these unwrapped, then you'll also want the adapter plates so that you can adapt your disc brake and also your sprocket to your axle. Now in this particular build, I'm not gonna use the posi traction, but I will show you how to set it up if you wanna do that on yours. And that way you can pick either version and have your bike built. That being said, <clears throat> once you get your parts all set up and ready to go, So far, we've installed the steer tube, which I got here. I also ended up cutting off the front part of mine. I could have left it on there and just trimmed it up and put a cap on the end. Kind of just put a cap on the end of it. Or left the boom there if you want to keep riding it and just turn this into a four-wheeler. You wouldn't have had to do any of this part. And if you just wanted to recumb it four-wheeler and you only want to do this back part. So <clears throat> we'll sh show that in the next piece. So I just cut that off, weld that onto the front, and we're done. Now onto the back part, which if you want to build a, a quad bike or a quad uh, recumbent bike, this is the part you want to do here. And so you'll get your weldable that goes inside. And then you'll get your motor mounts. They'll go on something like this. See how they have that little groove there for a little room for adjustment. And then you can tack them on there. And then you use your the one from the other side if it's mounted. So let me show you how that works. So here I have it set up for you. Here's your weldable in place. To there, put your motor mount. Just like such. And now you put a bead down all the sides and weld it up. Alrighty. We have our rear axle, we have our rear axle cage. We also need our hubs. So if you wanna convert your quad or your trike into a quad, originally it's gonna have a back wheel like this. 
And just for display purposes, it would typically go on your rear wheel like this. Got me? Now we're going to convert this to a quad cycle. So we're going to take this off. But we need this rim. So this rim here is one of our two new rear wheels. So we're going to have to buy another rim on top of our rim. So now we have two back tires. But doing this, if you had bought the right one, it allow you to reuse that rim. Otherwise, you have to buy two new rims along with, leave that right there, along with two new hubs. So here's your rim, here's your new hub. Now this is what you're gonna need to attach to your axle. Now here's your axle that you'll also need as part of your kit. And what this will allow you to do is on one side, one side it has studs on it. And these studs are your drive side. This is what's gonna allow you to connect the axle to the wheel, like such. And then they engage. Now this axle's wheel are now locked together and you put your nut and your washer back on the end. But you have to buy these, you need two of these. You need two rims, two tires, two tubes, two rim strips, to get you all set up. And then you need one axle if you're gonna do a single axle drive. Otherwise, you'll need two axles if you wanna do the posi traction. Now that I mentioned the posi traction, let me go ahead and show you that one. So right now, this is the, the carriage. This is 3D printed carbon fiber. C comes in two pieces, like such. You're gonna need two free wheels. And one goes inside here, and then one goes on the other side. You need two free wheels. Now, if you buy the kit, it'll come with the, the locker. Here's the uh, free wheel out of the box. This is how it locks in. And then there's another one that also goes on this side. And it gets pressed in like such. So you'll have one on each side and this is what allows your ratcheting system inside your differential. And each one of these are gonna go on the end of the axle. So that's why you need two axles because this drive system is now connecting them. So you get an axle for both sides and two sprockets and also the adapter piece, which allows you to connect your freewheel to the axle itself, which is about a 15 millimeter. So that's two rims, two hubs, and of course the spokes to connect them if you want to buy the differential, you'll need to buy the differential plus free wheels and your axles, either one axle for the single drive, two axles for the double drive. Now, if you're getting the posi traction, you also have to think about braking. In this system that we're building here today, it will have a single rear disc brake. But if you put in that differential system, you'll have one side that'll spin freely and the other side that will lock, just to keep that in mind. So, we're moving right along. 
We talked about the axles and the differentials and the different pieces. We looked at the motor mounts and the capability to mount the motor and the different pieces that we need with that. The next part we have uh, left, besides our wheels and hand building our wheels, you know, we have to lace them up, build them from scratch, is the, um, the actual axle cage. attaching it to our swing arm. Now if you didn't buy a, a fat bike and you just got a regular recumbent bike, the spacing here is going to be a little bit narrower. It will be about, this is about 180 millimeters right here, so this is for a fat bike. Now if you want to put a big motor in here, like a 5000 watt or for 3,000 watt, I definitely recommend getting a fat bike because it's already going to be wide enough for you to do that. Now, if you didn't and you only want to put a 1,000 watt motor in and you got a regular recumbent bike with the small axle in the rear and the small tire, you're going to have less space here and it will probably bolt directly to your rear cage since the spacing is different. But since on ours, this is designed for a non-fat bike, and this is definitely not going to fit on there. As you see here, this is how we want to mount them. So what we'll have to do in the next video is cut some more plates that can now attach these two pieces and continue with our build. If you have any more questions about what we covered today, including the axle cage, the swing arm, motor mounts, any of this stuff, just let me know and we'll go ahead and work it out for you. Go ahead and give us a call or email us. Be glad to answer your questions. Now, summing that up for today, we had motor mounts. Don't forget your motor mounts. Steer tube that we installed right here. Fitment arm, which will go underneath here for our steering. Motor plate to mount our motor. Now, I set the motor aside. We didn't really get into it today, but that's next on the agenda, is mounting that motor and also building our wheels. We'll have to unlace that old wheel and then lace up the new wheel with the new rims and the new hubs and the new tires and the tubes, get that all set. Also, we'll want to get a seat. Decide what kind of seat we're gonna put on here. I'm thinking more of like a farm seat, kind of like my farm bike we did. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that one out. And we also didn't talk about the K1 axle. <clears throat> I showed you the two simple axles today, which is the single axle and the posi traction, but we also sell the K1 on our downhill bikes, but this isn't no downhill bike, so we'll have to save that for another video on how to build an off-road wheelchair. Today, we're gonna keep it mild, keep it simple, have simple suspension in the front, simple coil in the rear, and then we'll have a regular single wheel drive, which is gonna be more than enough for tooling around town or just taking it to the beach. Until then, you know what I always say? Peace. Just a few more things before you go. Don't forget a headset. So if you're doing the conversion to where you're gonna make it non-pedal and you wanna put the center steer tube in there, you're also gonna need a headset. This is a 45 degree Orbitz headset, cartridge bearing. Let me go ahead and open that up for you. Show you what's inside. When I say 45 degree cartridge bearing, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is a 45 degree cartridge bearing. And this goes inside your headset. This is your headset. So this is your steer tube. This is 
is what fits inside there. And this is what gets welded onto the bike up there, converting it so there is on the top. So you'll need to buy a steer tube. And a headset. Go ahead and pick them up while you're over there at the store. Go ahead and pick, add these to your cart to complete the build. Along with your hubs. You know what else you're going to need is some handlebars. We have the D Cruiser bars, which are already painted black. Come in for you. Let me go ahead and show those to you. Stand by. Stuck. Alright, here we go. These are the big the big daddies. D cruiser bars. So when you want to cruise deep, these are the ones you get. Mount them up, up like this, give you plenty of reach, plenty of capability. These already come powder coated black. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. You're also going to need some grips and a throttle setup. If it doesn't come with your e-bike kit, if you buy an e-bike kit from us, it comes with everything you need, the grips, the throttle, the levers, everything you're gonna need to convert your trike into a quad cycle. Well, that's gonna be it for today. We still have like the basket and the seat and a few other things to cover, but we've already covered a lot today. We have lots of components. We've got the handlebars, we've got the stem, we've got the the hubs, we got axles, we talked about differentials, still need a sprocket, still need your disc brake mount kit. Whew, a lot of parts adding up. Well, next time I'll go ahead and weld this all together for you, and then we'll start putting some of these pieces together in a mock assembly before we break it all down and send it to paint. We're also gonna wanna set it down on the ground and set our seat height and our seat adjustment and then also going to go ahead and mount our basket and check the position of that or if we want to put a tow hitch or anything else like that let me know what you think in the comments below what kind of accessories should we have we are going to create a double battery so we're going to make this a double battery system so you'll have two side-by-side -side aluminum cartridge batteries which is going to be amazing so stay tuned make sure you subscribe likes below We've got a lot in store. Don't forget your grips.